a federal judge has now denied Terraform Labs' motion to dismiss an SEC lawsuit, and with that, raised fresh questions about the partial Ripple victory. Joining us to discuss that is CoinDesk Global Policy and Regulation Managing Editor Nick Day, who is also the editor of uh, CoinDesk State of Crypto Newsletter. Nick, uh, great to have you with us. Uh, that judge, uh, you know, he rejected the use of another recent ruling that said Ripple did not violate securities laws. You wrote that up at about 2 a.m. New York time. What else did the judge say? What's the meaning of that? Hey, good morning. Yeah, so um, this was the, yeah, as you noted, the ruling in Terraform Labs motion to dismiss a lawsuit from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Um, a couple things to just kind of note right out of the gate. First off, this was just kind of an initial motion to dismiss. So the judge basically, you know, was looking at, does the SEC have a plausible claim? Does it have standing? Uh, things like that. It wasn't really looking at the, uh, you know, actual merits of the underlying case. Just is what's been filed so far sufficient to argue that the SEC has a case that it can continue to bring forward? And he ruled, yes, that is, you know, the, in his view, uh, accurate. So, yeah, in his, uh, you know, ruling, uh, rather, in their motion, Terraform Labs, you know, first off argued that the SEC didn't have, you know, standing. They tried arguing things like the major questions doctrine, which, of course, is the, uh, you know, recent Supreme Court ruling uh, where they basically said that regulatory agencies can't dramatically exceed their mandate. Um, more recently, Terraform Labs filed a brief saying, hey, you know, look at this Ripple ruling where the judge said that uh, you know, sales to retail investors through intermediary exchanges uh, did not violate securities laws. And the judge said, you know, in his view, that shouldn't matter um, if the buyer, the investors are, you know, aware that at the beginning of the project, there is this central, you know, central entity that, you know, has managerial efforts that could impact the you know, price of the token. It shouldn't really matter where exactly those investors are buying the tokens from. Uh, he also uh, pushed back against the major question doctrine usage in his uh, ruling, saying that the crypto industry, you know, while important, is not quite at the level of the other major industries that meet the major questions doctrine threshold. So it, just in terms of uh, where it stands in, in the courts, uh, it, you know, this is another court uh, it, that it doesn't actually change anything involving the Ripple case, correct? I mean, I, what does the right. conflict then do for, for people who aren't familiar with uh, uh, with U.S. legal system, with, with how we work, with the kind of kookiness we got here? Yeah, so you're right. There's no practical effect right now. Um, this is a single judge's opinion on, you know, again, a motion to dismiss. So uh, the case itself is going to continue. There's still going to probably be, you know, a trial. We're going to go through all the discovery. We're going to eventually get to a ruling. That could take years, as we've seen. The Ripple case itself, right, the SEC has already kind of signaled that it might appeal this ruling, uh, you know, in their response to Terraform Labs after Terraform, you know, pointed to the Ripple ruling said, you know, the judge should rely on it. So even there, we might still have to go through a couple of years of, you know, appeal court processes and depending on how far the parties are willing to take it, potentially all the way up to the Supreme Court. So as far as last night's ruling is concerned, I think the crypto industry is still uh, should be in a kind of, you know, wait and see posture. Uh, they're, isn't going to be a whole lot that's hugely presidential about that. The more interesting question to me, honestly, is the major questions with doctrine. That is an argument that a number of other crypto companies, including, for example, Coinbase, have used in trying to dismiss their own lawsuits from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. And so, you know, if other judges agree with, you know, Judge Rakoff in that the industry is not, you know, big enough to warrant it, that could be, uh, you know, kind of detrimental to these other companies' efforts to dismiss those lawsuits. Yeah, we've got to wait for the precedent there. Thanks so much uh, for that, uh, Nick. That was uh, Coindesk Global Policy and Regulation Managing Editor Nick Day. And uh, as we always say, and Lawrence particularly uh, says it in the most exciting way and entertaining way, don't forget to sign up for the State of Crypto newsletter on Coindesk.com. 